Yummy, 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 yum. Hey, John, how's it going? Whoa, are you okay? Pizza. Oh, awesome, thanks. Wait. What? What? Oh, oh no! Are you okay? I'm fine, but why would you- No, not you! <laughs> Pizza party? Yeah. Welcome to the So and So Show! Oh, I lost another one. That's okay, I think we have enough for now. You are here on a special day because today John and I are celebrating our friend anniversary. <laughs> we've celebrated, okay. We've celebrated every year since we first became friends. Yeah, and we've been friends for a lot of years. We have. It's important to take time every once in a while to remember the people in your life that yeah. are important to you. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that this is a pretty big event. True, true. Every year we pick a different theme for the party and this year's theme is a Baluna Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last year's? I don't. What was it again? Oh, um, look that way. Oh. Mm, hey, great beach theme you came up with this year, friend. I'll never forget this. Oh, thank you, friend. I love these tiny umbrellas. I know it goes great with the coconut water. I think this might be the best friend anniversary ever. Are you kidding me? Don't you remember the theme from five years ago? I don't. What was it again? I can't believe you got us into space, friend. I'll never forget this. <laughs> well, almost space. This simulator feels real though, right? It does. Whee! Oh, wow, that looks fun. Oh. I want to try. <laughs> Oh, this has to be the best Ray. friend anniversary party we've ever had. Hey, hey, hey. Even better than our friend anniversary party 10 years ago? You remember that theme? I don't. What was it again? Seriously? Look that way! Oh. Hey, friend! Happy friend anniversary! Yeah, where you been, my man? Oh, these luscious locks don't groom themselves. Uh, it sure is groovy that we've been friends as long as we have. Right on, <laughs> can you dig it? Hey, let's boogie. All right. Disco will never die, and I am never gonna forget this. Whoa! Ha! <laughs> yeah. Kick, kick. What with my Oh yeah. I forgot about that. At least I still have my hair. <laughs> what? Nee. Ah, how can you forget all our friend anniversaries? It's, it's like they're not really important to you. Oh, it's not that they're... I'm sorry, J I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, John. I love our friend anniversaries, but it's remembering the friendship that matters most, right? Besides, I, I remembered it this year. Ah, uh, see? Oh, you shouldn't have. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. <gasps> it's a disco ball cup with a tidy umbrella and a space sticker. I've always wanted one. I know, you talk about it every day. You do remember our friend anniversary. Of course. Ah, oh, thanks friend. You know what? Your gift's in one of these balloons. Oh. Which one? I don't, don't remember. 
Well, that'll be fun later. Oh. Until then, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Oh, wow. That's a lot of balloons. Yeah, it is. And, and my gift is in one of them. So, it's a balloon search party. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, we're celebrating our friend anniversary. We do it every year. That's so great that you guys make it a habit of celebrating your friendship every year. It kind of reminds me of another annual celebration that we learned from the Bible. Do you mind if I tell you about it? Oh, take it away, Kellen. Perfect. The annual celebration is called the Feast of Booths. Here's some backstory. Many years ago, God's people, the Israelites, were traveling in the desert waiting for the day when they could go to the land God had promised them. The promised land. Boom. Who said that? That'd be me, Chef Zeke Rubinson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, woo, need salt. Zing, go. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Um, welcome? Do you know something about the Feast of Booths? Do I? Yeah, I was there for the very first one. <laughs> oh, paprika. Wait, you were there? <laughs> yeah. It was thousands of years. You know what? Never mind. Can you tell us why you celebrated the feast? Oh, yeah. We have all kinds of celebrations. Okay, so our leader, Moses, he wants us to remember all the things that God has done for us. So, we celebrate all the time. The Feast of Booths is when we celebrate how God provides for us during the harvest. The feast lasts a week. <laughs> what a time. Wow, a week-long party. I know, <laughs> kerplunk. <laughs> we do it the same time every year. It's like a habit, but one that we do on purpose. This year, I'm making soup for the feast. God has done so much for us. I hope we never stop celebrating. <laughs> Let's see, there it is. Ribbit, bit, 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 bite. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for that information. That was so helpful. Yep, you betcha. Hey, where's the fiddle? Jonas, did you eat the fiddle? It's true. God wanted the Israelites to celebrate every year to help them remember all that God had done. But the Israelites didn't always keep up with the celebrations. We sure didn't. Oh, is that you, Chef Zeke? Smash you. No, I'm a chef of Sal Rubinson. Chef Zeke was a distant cousin from many years back. But you look so much like Chef... You know what? Never mind. Tell us your story. Well, you see, a while back we got so caught up in our own thing, we just forgot to celebrate the feast. But then, King Solomon, you see. Oh, so you're from the time of King Solomon, the third king of Israel. I sure am. Wham, smack, zoom, vroom. <laughs> you see, King Solomon celebrated the feast with the entire nation when we brought the Ark of the Covenant to its new home in the temple. Another week-long party? A week? No way! This one, it lasted uh, two weeks! <laughs> Slash! Fizz! Meow! <laughs> hey, that was hard. So the celebrations continued, but it wasn't always easy. You see, after King Solomon, the kingdom of Israel was split into two. Some of the kings followed God, some not so much. Eventually, both kingdoms were attacked by other nations and the people were taken to other lands. But we're back now. Another chef. That's right. A totally new and different chef that you have not seen before. Chef Phil Rubinson. Right. So what time period are you from? Uh, ever hear of uh, Nehemiah or Ezra? I have. Yeah, that time. Great. Carry on. So our people were scattered all over the place. And our city, Jerusalem, was, it was in shambles. Things were not good. No one, well, no one felt like celebrating. <laughs> but then, then Nehemiah, he led us to rebuild the walls. And Ezra, the priest, he got us all together to read God's laws to us. It was, uh, it was the first time in a very long time. It was, it was, uh, it was the very first time that... Yeah, I bet it was pretty emotional. 
No, 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 no. It's just... It, 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 it's just the onion. Sure. You see, we'd stop listening to God. And when you realize that, when you realize that... You get sad. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's the onion here. That's all that it is. Of course. Well, what happened next? We celebrated. We celebrated the Feast of Booths. <laughs> we built little tents and we camped out in them just like Moses did in the wilderness all those long years ago. <sighs> yeah, here's the onion. <sighs> and God's people continued this celebration for hundreds of years, even during the time of Jesus. It's the same, but different. Let me guess. Glug. <laughs> That's right. Another totally new and different chef. Joe Rubinson. Distant relative of, well, all those other chefs. Amazing resemblance. What can you tell us about the Feast of Booths during your time? Hmm. Well, the most recent feast was just like any other, and then swoosh! <laughs> Jesus shows up. And on the last day of the festival, he started teaching the people. That's right. Jesus stood in the temple courtyard and told the people, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Does anyone believe in me? Then just as scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from inside them. Jesus took the Feast of Booths a step further. Just as God provided food and water for the Israelites, now God had sent Jesus to be the living water, a way to have eternal life with God. Well, that's the best news, right? And the Feast of Booths is already a joyful time. What Jesus said is just, well, it's icing on the cake. Bam! <laughs> the Israelites celebrated the Feast of Booths every year to remember all that God had done. And we should make it a habit of celebrating God too. We should choose to be joyful for all God has done for us. Maybe it's something you do every day when you talk to God or something you do every year, like on a friend anniversary. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Kellen. You know, it's true. I'm so glad that God made a way for us to be friends. Mm -hmm. It's brought me so much joy. <laughs> oh, right back at you, buddy. <laughs> Reveal the question. <laughs> How can you remember to be joyful? Well, I mark all my special occasions in a calendar. That way I don't forget. Gotta mark next year's friend anniversary. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna love the theme. Oh, great. <laughs> what was this year's theme again? I'm joking, it was balloons, I remember. I have a journal that I like to write in every day, and at night I'll read it and think back on all the things that brought me joy that day. Oh, a joy journal. Exactly. Oh, cool, what about you? How can you remember to be joyful? Yeah, talk about it with someone, and we'll see you next time on The So and So, and so Show! show. <laughs> bam. Ew, bam. All right, I've checked every balloon in this room. It is not here. Uh, no, you didn't check that one. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't check this one. Ah, come on. Is it in here? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going in. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, no! Point with my thumbs! <laughs> Point with my thumbs! I found it! Oh yeah, what is it? It's a framed picture of you. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, this is a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs>